everybody and welcome back to Between the Stars Rival here and Okay, so we're still in the prologue. This is the prologue. I'm... This like, prologue is awesome and we didn't actually dock, did we? No, okay, let's um, push some speed here and then we'll figure out where we're going That's not it That's not it Map! I need the map Right, we're going to Tacit Stella. Oop, come around, come around. There we go. Okay, that was very easy. Captain, the investigation has finished. We've been able to restore the transmission we picked up in the slaver's headquarters. Nice to know. I think you need to hear this immediately. Nartos, Fleet Admiral of the Children of the Sun here. Situation report, Commander. Commander X Pleo from Lithobia 1 here. All preparations are complete as per your orders. Perfect. The Galactic Summit is nearly upon us. The wrath of the Children of the Sun shall fall upon the Interstellar Republic. Okay, that's not good. We have to relay this as soon as possible. Understood, Admiral. Although, there's something that worries us. A captain of the Republic is snooping around the sector. We followed him after his warp jump, but he uh. destroyed our ships. Take care of him as soon as possible. Huh? Now is the time for us to control the mining and commerce network. Send a pirate fleet and make sure that the protonite mining stations are under our control and that none of the Republic stations are supplied. Break their will, and if necessary, Kill them all. May the sun light your way, Commander. We'll kill haul them all. Explio out. Yeah, didn't I kill Explio? Oh well. So looks like we're having to deal with something nasty. I mean, I remember in uh, was it Horizon Zero Dawn? There was sun worshippers there as well. I don't know what about the sun that everyone has to worship it. Cool. Ooh, nice. Pretty ships. We Hello. welcome you, Captains. The reception is awaiting you on the docks. All representatives and diplomats shall be escorted to the Senate chambers, where the summit shall begin. I don't think we'll be having that summit, Admiral Xiao. The yeah. Children of the Sun no longer receive orders from the Interstellar Republic. What is the meaning of this, Nardos? For centuries, the Children of the Sun have been subjected to the whims of the Republic. That time has come to its end. We order your retreat and complete demilitarization of your strategic points across the universe. We've looked out for the security and common interests of the universe for hundreds of years. We won't cave into the scare tactics of a few bloodthirsty savages. Uh -oh. Just a few, Admiral? Okay, the timing We've been was complacent good. for too long, but that's over now. The Children of the Sun will no longer be led by an unworthy puppeteer. It's time to cut those cables and strangle their detractors with them to the last. Admiral, this is high treason. Opposition to the Republic like this means a death penalty to anyone who supports your rebellion. Negotiations have ended, Xiao. Surrender or die. What? Not us. Be reasonable. This means war on a universal scale. Millions will die. The decision has been made, Xiao. May the sun light your way, Admiral. Well, at least he's being polite at the end. Uh, okay, we're gonna go for balanced here. And try and help out where we can. Alright, let's hit this. I don't know what we have to do. Oh, we've got weak zone right at the front of the ship. Ah, oh, that's nice. See, so if you zoom in. The children of the sun are attacking the headquarters. If you 
you uh, lock in sort of thing like that, then um, oh, damn it. they um, it scans the ship. It seems. And it looks like our missiles follow our targeting sensor, so... It kind of pays to keep it on the target. We're losing Captain, shield. Our shields have been damaged. We won't hold out much longer. Yeah, I noticed. The children of the sun are focusing all their fire on the station. The chances of the station resisting this attack are 0.057%. Please die, please die, please die. Got it, right. Uh, shields need to get boosted fast. Captain, the headquarters is at a breaking point. We're at a breaking point. The armor around one of our engines has been destroyed. Structural damage to the headquarters rising. Explosion imminent. The space station has been destroyed. This can't be done. You'll pay for this, do you hear me? You will pay for this even if it's the last thing I do. I'll get you if I have to follow you to the end of the universe. Okay, we're, we're gonna... Captain, snap stay. out of it. We need you more than ever now. This is bad. Another one down. Seriously, I don't know how we're supposed to do this. Engineering workshop has suffered a massive breach. Alert. Alert. Decompression imminent. Remember, Diaz, leave the room immediately. That's an order. Sorry, Captain. It's too late. I have to close the doors to avoid the entire ship's decompression. Yeah, and don't you would that. never you be that kind of calm doing it. Bay doors. Manual lock activated. Closing bay doors. It's been an honor, Captain. Damn, we are taking an absolute beating right now. Although missiles are really doing a great job for us, because they're in the air, so even when we're kind of waiting for our guns to cool down, 
they're still flying. Like that. Although we have like 7% of our hull left, so, you know. Right, who's firing at me now? It says defend headquarters, so I'm not entirely sure what I'm defending it from, because I think we've lost. Is this one of those things you can't win? I'm kind of hoping it is, because otherwise this is going to be a really bad day for me. I'll end you, Nartos! Please get out of here. My redirect all power flow to the cannon! Confirmation required. Yeah. Captain James Scott of the Interstellar Republic, ID 4128C. Deactivate protection protocols. Crew security protocols have been deactivated. Captain, the systems will not support the overcharge. The probability of death is 100%. We cannot allow the children of the sun to get away with it. My full power. Yes, yeah, we're dead. Life support offline. Defense systems offline. Redirecting power. Power at 110%. 250%. Oh, plummet egg. 500%. 1000%. For the Republic! Damn. I'm sorry if I went quiet during that, but, you know. My... Situation analysis. Systems completely destroyed. Crew, crew dead. I see. So this is it, right? MAR system. Protocol error. D -d Damaged. Easy. I'm here with you. Rest, my. Rest. As prologues go, that was pretty good. I just like drop you right in the deep end. I like that. That's a nice way of uh, starting the game off. I think. Ah, oh, so now the game proper starts. Yes. Wow, that was that was something. Okay, so now we can actually start. So you have to do the prologue first time you play. You have no choice. I guess now we can actually start the campaign, so let's get on. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, what, what? We, we have... Choose your ship. <gasps> okay, uh, we've got speed, agility, hull resistance, and shields. Um, distribute units energy between shields, activating them if necessary. Nice. Oh, we've got different colors, we get different colors. I think it'll be yellow, whatever we have. And we've got emblems we can have as well. Okay, this is good. Infinite Astral. Um, it's a little bit slower, less agile. Hull resistance is a bit better, I think. Yeah, a little bit, J just a little bit. Cosmos Transporter. 
Okay, so the Mercury Thallium doesn't have as much hull resistance, but it has lots of speed, agility, and shields. The Infinite Astral is kind of middle of the roadish on everything. And the Cosmos Transporter is. I think it's meant to be a bit more of a tank. Because it's got that hull resistance. It's made, meant to be able to, like, tank hull damage. So I'm assuming the Infinite Astral is kind of like your mid level kind of ship, whereas that's got a bit more speed and movability. I gotta say, I'm liking the shape of this one more. I'm loving that big back end. That's just looking look like a box in space. That one's not much better. And you got your actual name on there as well. Okay, so that's the Great Queen. Where's your name? Tell me where your name is. The Black Emperor? I don't think so. Oh, it's there. Okay. Um. There you go, the Avenging Rival. That's probably spelt wrong. Let's have a look. Right, so we've got... Oh, they've even scraped the logos and everything, so it looks like they've actually been through something. Yeah, we'll, we'll stick with that one. I like that one. It's kind of nice. Um, special ability. Weapons. Cannon of the Republic Mark 1. Light Plasma Cannon Mark 1. And Light Plasma Cannon Mark 1. So I'm guessing those are on the back here sort of thing. Cool. Yeah, I like this. Okay, so we're going with the Avenging Rival. Should I check the spelling on that? It's probably a good idea. I'm not good with spelling. People may have noticed this from my uh, videos and things like that. Uh... Yep, I'm good. All right. Oh, I actually have to do mine as well. Okay. I, I really like that name, but... Uh, we'll go with Zone, actually. <laughs> um, I'm not liking the haircut. That's Molly. Okay. Uh, see if we can get a. Yeah, we'll go with that. Uh, weight. Oh, I am just so awesomely like well trimmed and things. You know, I'm not. I'm really not. This is me kind of trying to make myself feel better. Uh, we'll go with the eyes. Do I have? That's probably the best. Okay, that's cool. Actually, that's a better color, hair color, to be honest with you. Okay. Uh, I'm not liking the uh, the beard, though. The, 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 I, want the, I want the old gruff. There you go. Bit of, bit of scruff around the face. Okay, so now we have um, Reckless increases agility of ship. Old school. Better missiles. Worse lasers. Strategies. More precision, but less rate of fire. Bungalow. Reduces engine power. <laughs> I guess we have to choose. Um... I really like the lasers. I think we're going to go with the old... If, if that's what I'm allowed to choose. Or is this you have to kind of... Alright, that works. I'm, I'm assuming you get to choose those. I'm not sure. Or maybe it's because I'm just useless. Maybe you have to randomise stuff or... I want to get the game side. 
Trying to get the Avenging Rival out there. Captain, we're in the sectors adjacent to Tacit Stella. The War Council will not be held for another two days. Understood, May. We'll take advantage of the downtime to supply our ship and patrol the area. Input yeah. coordinates to the nearest space station. I don't no talk need, like Captain. that ever. Our power levels will let us fly for at least another two weeks. We've spoken about this, May. The crew is exhausted. They've been eating nothing but synthetic proteins for a month. They need a breather. Aye, Captain. Coordinates set. Let's go and deal with some suspicious activity first, I think. I think that's what we need to do. We need to go and suspiciously activity. activity. Suspicious. That word I can also. So I'm wondering whether we get to pick up a new ship, you know, as we like. Do we like build up cash and then we're able to buy new ships? It's kind of something I need to know. Probably also should check out what we've got on board. Right, about the corresponding quads to find a suspicious ship. Best thing to do is send a transmission and identify them. My opens the communication and directs a call to your terminal. On the screen, you see some big yellow eyes staring right back at you. Luckily, you, a Satir ship. The captain's jaws open to speak. Satir captain. Uh, yeah. Few people could understand the language here have been less introduction to the Interstellar Republic after years of diplomatic work, greatly hampered by the complex phonic system they possessed. If you want one with a few people after the treaty and the territory of the Republic, you were subject to the same laws as you, therefore your jurisdiction enters into compliance with them. Let's check your cargo. Pilot, take us to the next target. Uh, let's stick some engine power on there. Why do you have to stop us so far out? I mean, yeah, fine, there was a asteroid field and stuff, but. I mean, so far out, why? It's not nice. Doesn't seem to understand what you say, but accepts the coupling request. You approach the ship and meet the captain. You've hardly seen one or two in your entire life. The borders have been opened, but only a short time ago, and there are few people who went outside their sectors. The known universe isn't exactly small, but until today, it was only intelligent species found. Having seen one or two did not make this event less impressive. Those beings measured approximately two and a half meters. His two yellow eyes seem to emit light, like two spotlights in the holes where their nostrils should be. His silky skin and mysteriously smooth appearance was disturbed in a range of colours ranging from grey to white. It's not a range of colours really, it's grey and white. <laughs> Without a doubt they instill respect, especially with those jaws as a mouth. Oh, I've got a big mouth then, okay. At the moment you greatly appreciate the reputation of pacifists they had. Do you have an inventory of the cargo? He leads you through to one of the corridors to a large room where you can smell that you can smell before arriving. In it you can see approximately fifty terrestrial cows. It was funny that after all the things that had been speculated about extraterrestrial life, the only one that had been proved true was their fixation on these animals. Need to see your live transport license. We are in so much trouble. Oh, thank God. Those words, he moves away for a moment and returns with a document that is effectively the permits of trade for living species. Everything seems to be in order. Perhaps it is strange to be asking a creature that could split you in two with only its hands to permit to transport cows. But you would be surprised by the number of ecosystems that were annihilated before the legislation of the Republic on the transport of species regulated market. Let's check in case there's any. Yeah, we'll go for that. 
Is that a seven? It looks like a seven. <laughs> the captain seems puzzled. Doesn't do anything while you check the hold. As soon as you arrive in the small chest, he nervously heads to towards you. The interior, you find several vials with whitish substance. It's no surprise the setar, besides the taste for beef, also have a peculiar addiction to the consumption of resin from one of their native ferns. The sale of satire resin is prohibited due to the effects it causes on humans. That amount was quite small, despite being able to claim a good amount of credits. Adding to the fact that it was anyone's sight, everything seemed to indicate it was clearly for the crew's consumption, although the possession outside of their territory was penalised. It wasn't considered a crime. Chris Cern gained a new attribute. Increased his amount of experience gained from events. Oh. Be careful with this. It can be it's only for them, so let's let them have it. It's only for them. I don't see the point in uh, being any kind of like annoyance with them. Uh, that one's closer, so we'll go there first. And if it was a larger amount, then you know. But they said it was not. It's only seems to be the right amount for their crew to consume. Yep, balance everything out. I would like it if I can have some more power. I might want to see about upgrading the uh, power systems. I think we must have run into something. Or maybe the engines needed to cool off. Yeah. Maybe that was it. You travel too far and the engines have to cool down. Captain, our quantum engines are being interfered with. Okay. Oh! Activate the shields! All hands to battle stations! Hit the speed. Ah, damn it. Come on, bring my engines back. I have my weapons back on. Try right, punch through those shields. Hadam, hadam. Taking out the big ship first. Want the big ship out of the way because the small ship is less likely to do some damage. There we go. Oh, that's a hide behind your other buddy. Alright, it says hit him at the back. Great job, crew. We did it. Let's get the uh, stuff. And apparently, I've leveled up, so I'm I'm kind of cool with that. To be honest with you. All right, let's get to this suspicious activity, and we'll put everything into shields to we boost our shields as quickly as possible. Oh, we've got another fight coming up. You arrive at the corresponding coordinates to find a suspicious ship. The best thing to do would be send a transmission to identify them. I opens the communication channel, the direct call to your terminal. One woman remains silent and appears on the screen, waiting for you to start the conversation. Hello, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, I want to say that. I really want to say that. I want to say it. 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 
Oh, greetings, Captain. We're the Zodiac ship's crew. We're passing through. We transport a ship of food and mechanical parts. You keep questioning. Okay, so where are you headed? Woman on screen. To the port of Anteros, Captain. We usually, we're actually pretty late. We must keep going our way as soon as possible. Would you mind to take a look at your cargo? That was lucky. <laughs> the nervous woman accepts your ship's coupling. After passing the gate, the crew welcomes you and guides you to the ship's hold. You spend some time checking some of the bunkers to fi without finding anything. Normally you'd leave it there, but clearly they were hiding something. It would be enough for the captain's company to clarify everything. But instead, five crew members are standing by as firm as statues while checking the hold. Search more carefully. Ah! We failed! We failed! You put your arm in one plate, one of the chests full of bearings and immediately notice the trick. Much earlier than expected, you touch the tablet. It doesn't correspond to the depth of the container. It's a false bottom. With barely time to glance around, you see that your crew is being fired upon by your host. Take cover! Okay. Okay, so we have three attacks. They have two. Ow. Oh, that sucks. Um. Well, I can't use that. Cost. I don't know what these are. They're in my name. Okay, we've lost two people. Oh, one person. Luckily, they didn't get anything. Oh, more shields. Can I shoot someone now, please? dead buddy in a second you position yourself taking cover and the skirmish begins the shots eliminate the room impacting some of the chests and drop their contents it was clear they didn't care much about what was in them just a minute later you can only hear some pieces rolling on the floor you finished with the crew let's see that where they're hiding you empty the chest and check their bottoms. The crew breaks the tablets and your suspicions are confirmed. As you imagined, in more than one chest, the real load was hidden behind a false covered bottom. Also covered up by mechanical pieces to confuse whoever opened the containers. Nearly a dozen containers were carrying vials of setar resin, highly toxic substance for humans, and highly prized in the black market. Okay, we're gonna get out of here because we've got people who were actually injured. Uh, crew members, no, departments, sick bay. Yeah, we got people who are seriously busted. I'm gonna send you in first because you kinda need it. And I'd like you to be alive, quite honestly. Uh, systems, so we're actually missing stuff. We've only got, we could have more stuff on this. We need to go and buy some stuff, I think. We've done well to do as well as we have then. All right, let's go to the station and we'll pick up some bits and pieces while we're at it. And we'll end the episode there when we get there. Um, it's bits and then we'll call it a day. Because... Well, the ship needs repairing a bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. And we do need to um, probably hire a new crew member. 
We only lost one, but it all depend on what we've got left. The last attack you received released some of the storage anchors to come loose, causing some chests to fall, leaving a real mess. Go down to storage along with Carvalho. Hello, Luis. Expecting the worst. Damn it. It'll take at least a couple of hours to reckon, reorganize everything. Tell them to come and help. Goes down after a while with the other two crew members. You distribute the work and quickly begin the task. You're in the middle of counting supplies you picked up when a scream shocks you. Ow! Yeah, we'll go with ow. It bit me. What is it? You run over, over to where it is and stop at once when you see the strange creature that had come out of the box that Solzinha was organizing. be difficult to describe exactly what the creature that had crept into your ship was. This semi-liquid looking creature twists itself as its body formed tentacles and all manner of shapes covering the bright spirit in the center. It was the first time you'd seen something like this, whatever it was. It tried to slide in the opposite direction as it used the tentacles to roll on the ground and run away from you at full speed. Captain, don't let him escape. Find something to lock it up in. Whatever it is, it's strange and it's probably really cool. You look everywhere in search of some content to put it in and you get the vacuum bells used in the ship's laboratory. With caution, you approach a creature with the intention of catching it, but it's faster than you thought. You try again a couple of times, but it seems to anticipate your movements. We must flank it. We are so not going to catch this. Nope. It's nine. You put yourselves in your positions trying to block its escape route. Little by little, you narrow the perimeter until you leap over the creature with the bell in your hand. The creature feels the danger and immediately splits into two. What? Causing you not to get it right. Both sides run scared until they meet up and merge again. With the face of a as you see it rolls up into a small slot of the flood <coughs> to go out through it. Right, now we'll have to look over the ship. Paul Carter has been infected with an unknown toxin. You look at Solzina, who is petrified while holding the bit in hand. With his eyes as open as possible, he turns towards you. Captain, I feel a bit... In the middle of the sentence, an immense jet of green fluid comes propelled by his mouth, spreading it everywhere. Scared, he cleans himself the best he can before another gag. As soon as he's finished vomiting, he staggers a bit. His legs fail. Luckily, you grab him before he collapses. Gotta get you to sick bay. Okay, we gotta get him to sick bay. Now, we were healing someone, but... You pick Carter up while you order Mai to assemble the medical team. The creature's venom was much stronger than you imagined. Carter was frozen and swollen like a balloon. Despite appearing unconscious, he seemed delirious as he tried to articulate a word or two. Incomprehensible to you. Hold on tight, Carter. We're more us there. The medical team puts him into a bed in the... On on a stretcher and intubates him at high speed. His vital signs are increasingly inconsistent. He looks truly awful. Crew member Carvalho. What happened? You explained to him how the creature bit Carter while you were organizing the cargo hull. Carvalho seems very worried. I've never seen a toxin like this before. Tell me you caught the creature. You tell the truth, it ran away. It's extremely critical, Captain. Without a sample of the venom, it's impossible to elaborate an antidote. We must find the creature and bring it back alive before the organs of Paul collapse completely. We are quick enough, perhaps we could take him to a specialist, although it's a risky bet. I'm not sh quite sure if he could hold out until then. At the moment, all we can do is stabilize it and try to minimize the advance of the venom. We'll get to work. Right, where is he? Carter. No, cat. Where's my thing gone? My mouse has disappeared, people. My mouse has disappeared. There you go, I got my mouse back. <laughs> that was so weird. <laughs> my mouse is gone. Where's my mouse gone? Okay, Carter. Unknown toxin, heal. Heal him! Heal him! Um, right. Ask Dr. Room's unknown creature species. We've got to go to Tudu. Well, first we're going to go to the Allied Station and end this video.
might go into a couple of fires or something as well, because that sounds cool. But we need to land, people. We need to land. Republic ship requesting docking permission, please. Welcome, Captain. Kick your boots off. My house is your house. Thank you. Oh. Planet 7180A. Well, we need to repair up as well, and then... Man, my ships are slow. So slow. So slow. That was better parking, wasn't it? I did better there. Oh, that's more. Uh, commercial zone, hangar, arcade. Ship crash canteen. Recently opened establishment. Inventors of the liquor shipwreck. If you come out sober, you get your money back. <laughs> All right, we're gonna leave it here, guys. Um, we will uh, continue from here next time. An interesting start. That massive fight, and now we're actually playing the game proper. Cool. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. If you liked this video, then please do hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and share. If you're new to the channel, like you saw, please do consider subscribing. Don't forget to check down below for links to my Twitter, Discord, and I believe Facebook. Until next time, you lot take care of yourselves. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.